know where you are. Nowhere on Earth. You are on the hot, greedy planet which we call Luminos. It sweats just outside your admirable galaxy. How did we get here? Teleportation. Teleportation. As your television cameras transmit images, so ours, refined and advanced, of course, transmit brute matter. While you and your neighbors slept, we borrowed, so to speak, six square city blocks of Earth, disassembling the atoms there, reassembling them here. Naturally, we did not intend that you become aware of our experiment until it was concluded. Experiments are best conducted upon the blithely ignorant. What kind of experiment? Watch. We shall exhibit the full extent of our physical mobility. We do not begin life as we end it. Luminoid children at birth are as yours. Sweet golden nuggets in the palm of fate's hand. But the hot organism is in the genes. And soon, all too soon, while still in the cock-a-hoop dawn of their maturity, the eruptions begin. And all luminoids celebrate their majority in places like this. Like this? We call these places contemplative energy plants. We elders sit here, doomed, immobile, unable to do anything but think. And there is our compensation, since no single fraction of life energy is wasted on meaningless movement. All energy, all the mad, monstrous force of it is made available to the mind. Can you comprehend the scope and skill of minds that are never drained, never dulled? Minds like nuclear birds soaring to the most splendid dreamings of the universe? I cannot conceive of such minds sanctioning the abduction of innocent people. <laughs> Nothing is so modifiable as morality. Until recently, our youngsters produce the end products of our dreams. But now they rebel, and we are helpless, and there is so much work to be done. You've brought us here to do your work for you? We are studying the feasibility of it, if your small test group survives this sultry climb. But you've already failed. My next door neighbor. Yes, he was a lesson to us. We were only trying to keep him from going back and betraying everything too prematurely. And we saw that contagion does occur when one of us touches one of you. I doubt if there will be much of that. And barring any other built-in infeasibles, we will soon abduct the rest of you. All of you. All of the brutes that plow that brutal star called Earth. We can rebel, too. You, vain flesh men who love their bodies above all else that nature has given to them? No. You will obey. At the threat of our touch, you will obey. And you will be happy. Your life here will be comfortable and secure. And you will be free to worship and love and think as haphazardly as usual. What if some of us do become infected, even if we aren't touched by one of you? Then you won't be able to work. You'll be as we are. We shall consider the project infeasible and turn our minds and instruments on other lively planets. Go now. A guide will show you the way through the fog. And tell your neighbors to feel no fears and dream no dreams of escape.
for there is no escape. Go.